Hey, welcome back to another episode of Whiskey Row. Hi, everybody. So we are, well, today's, it's Christmas. Happy holidays. Have, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. I need something I, to drink. I'm going to Merry Christmas myself a chocolate. We brought some chocolatey bourbon things back from Old Forester in Louisville. And uh, Jamie's eating one. I ate one before we started Ooh. because I have to talk and she can just drink. We'll just wash that drink. down with some bourbon cream. <laughs> Yeah, so it's definitely the holidays here in Whiskey Row. Find a chocolate you love. Tonight, we are going to bring you the best bourbons of 2021. We're going to be doing a six slash seven way blind because those always go really, really well. So David, what makes them the best bourbons of 2021? So these are the best bourbons of 2021 as rated by me. <laughs> and the way that I did it is it had to be something that was actually released in 2021 as a 2021 release okay so even though for example knob creek 12 is a delicious delicious bourbon it's not an annual release it's not a special release it's something that's always available or well, in theory is always available okay these ones that we're going to be going through tonight are actually released for 2021 and so we are going to be talking about those and we're going to figure out which of the ones that i have from 2021 is the best bourbon and i've got some of the best ones the only one that i don't have in the competition tonight from 2021 that would be, I think, a real contender is the William Leary Weller okay. from Buffalo Trace. And that is a and you you don't know, have that one? $2,000 bottle if you have to pay a secondary price and I didn't pay because you said no. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I didn't bring it up. I didn't even ask. So. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember that conversation, but I feel like you might have been right. <laughs> you know, no William Leary Weller this year in Whiskey Row. Wah, Maybe wah. someday. But the rest of what we do have are sort of available. I mean, they're definitely not easy to find in many cases, but but they're, they're things that you might have had a chance to get in 2021. They're what I'd call at least somewhat reasonable. Most of them are available even on secondary under $500, which don't get me wrong, I know that's crazy, but we're not talking about $1,000 bottles. We're talking about several hundred dollar bottles mm -hmm. uh, on the secondary. And on retail, all of these are under about 100 and 30, 140. So our contenders for best bourbon of 2021 here at Whiskey Row are the Maker's Mark 2021 limited release, the FAE02. Now this is a really pretty solid bourbon. Now the FAE01 was, was decent, but this is definitely, definitely much more tasty, but it is a very, very solid pour and definitely a strong contender for the bourbon of the year. Now, next up is the Bombergers 2021 release. Now, this is coming out of Mictors. It's a special release they do every year. This one's coming in at 108 proof. And this actually did very, very well in my Mictors video. It came in second to the Mictors 10 year rye as my favorite Mictors product uh, that I currently have. Ooh. This one you guys have seen many times on Whiskey Row. It is the Remus Repeal 5. Now, this is a delicious, delicious bourbon. It's a blend of five different bourbons with different mash bills and bottled in different years. But it comes together. They did a masterful job in blending this thing and is one of the best sippers that I've had this year for sure. Mm. Now, next on the list, well, yeah, it technically qualifies as a bourbon, even though it's a Jack Daniels Tennessee whiskey. This is the first time they've released a Jack Daniels 10-year. Well, frankly, it is fantastic. Coming in at 97 proof, it is a delicious pour. And so that is going to come into the competition tonight. Now, our representative from Buffalo Trace, well, it's Stag Jr., Stag 16. Now, this is a very, very good version of Stag in my book. When we did the Stag comparison between the batch 14, 15, and 16, the batch 16 came in second to the 14, but the 14 wasn't released in 2021. So this Stag 16 is going to go into the competition tonight, and it's the only Buffalo Trace product we have in the competition tonight because most Buffalo Trace products are not actually yearly releases of some kind other than the BTAC. And in 2021, they didn't even release the George T. Stag. They only released the William Lever Weller, which we already talked about, which we can't get. So this is the representative from Buffalo Trace tonight. And last up from Wild Turkey is Wild Turkey One. This is the first time that Wild Turkey has released a toasted bourbon in a long, long time. And it is quite good. It's a very, very solid pour. This particular one's coming in at 101 proof, just like a standard Wild Turkey 101, but it's extra delicious because it's part of the Master's Keep collection. So we have them all poured. We are ready to go. Let me just say that uh, I'm going to step out. Jamie's going to mix them up. Before she mixes them up, I'm going to throw in one wild card for Bourbon of the Year. But I got a wild card right here, and it's a special pour, and I labeled it on the bottom. It's labeled PMW for Poor Man's Weller. This is 
Maker's Mark cast strength, all 110 proof. I put four bottles of 750 bottles into my three liter barrel in the basement. Wow. And it aged for about two and a half months now. And right now, I when I was sampling these and figuring out which of the other bottles were contenders for the 2021 bourbon of the year, I was like, I should try that. that it is fantastic. It's so good. So even though it's a special Whiskey Row 2021 release of Poor Man's Weller, <laughs> it's going to go Poor Man's William LaRue Weller. So it's going to go in the competition tonight. It's an unofficial entry, but I want to see how it does against this lineup. And if it David. comes in first place, I might bottle it and sell it. What? David, things just got real. Oh, it did. I'm so excited <laughs> for this now. So I'm going to step out and Jamie is going to get this all mixed up and taken care of and have a little bit of fun with you guys. I'm going to go get out of here so I can't hear what she says to you guys so or does. the dogs out. Yeah, I'll go outside. And uh, please, will you let me back in though? No. He is gone. So I always like to try a pour of the lowest proof. Wild Turkey is at 101. Stag is at 130.9. I don't know what they were thinking. Jack Daniels, 97 proof. Ramus, Repeal Reserve at 100 proof. Bomb Burgers at 108 proof. And then Makers at 109 proof. Normally I would taste the lowest proof, but this time I think I'm gonna go with something different. Now I have an idea. I'm gonna taste David's poor man, I think is as great as he sees it. So I'm gonna pour a little in here of my... I feel like I smell apple or like pear, something fruity. Here we go. It's not bad, it's actually pretty decent. I can't believe he's doing a seven way blind. This is crazy. <laughs> I tried your poor man's pappy. Oh, the Weller? Yeah. Poor man's Weller? Yeah. What did you think about it? I felt like it smelled really fruity. Mm -hmm. When I tasted it, I could taste the proof. Yeah, it should be it around 110. me a little bit. I didn't really taste anything specific where I could pull it out, so. On the nose, this kind of has like a golden honey wheat thing going on a little bit. Some toasted oak, maybe. A little bit of rice spice on the nose. A little bit of grain, maybe. It smells like really nice. So it's bold in the mouth. There's like a nice spice to it. It's got a good caramel vanilla sweetness. It does have a little bit of a spiciness. It's got a good barrel a barrel quality to it. A little bit of oakiness. The nose on this, I'm getting kind of a little bit of a pear and apple. Some red berries, some actually some raspberry almost. A little bit of a, a little bit of a cola. It's definitely got some proof burn. It's got a really nice raspberry. Let me look at it. Some sweet caramels, a little bit of vanilla. This is spicier than I first thought. Thick, good mouthfeel though. So the nose on this one, I'm getting a little bit of kind of a little bit of a pear, maybe green apple, some cinnamon spice, kind of a nice, rich caramel sweetness on the nose. A little caramel covered apple. Oh, thing going I can on. smell the caramel. Yeah, it smells really good. So when it first hits your palate, there's like this really kind of a nice cinnamon and herbal thing, which then fades into this really, really rich caramel and brown sugar. Mm. It's really good. So the nose on this one is like caramel and brown sugar. Almost a hint of a chocolate too. A little bit of an herbalness. I like this. This smells really, really nice. So this one has a lot going on. It's like really complex. There's a lot of sweet caramel. Really kind of a dark, complex, like a little spicy. But it's really, really rich. Great mouthfeel. And it's really kind of sweet. I like this one a lot. So on the nose, this one got a little bit of proof going on. I'm getting kind of like a, it's kind of a caramel with some fruit. So this one definitely has quite a bit of proof on the tongue. It's got a little bit of kind of a, a red berry raspberry thing. A lot of spice though. I don't know if the spice is alcohol spice or baking spice. So on this one, I'm getting a little bit more of kind of a dusty note on the nose. A little bit of kind of a cream and banana. I like the smell of it, but it's a little different. Ooh, that's got a lot of really, really good baking spice, but in a good way. And there's like tons of caramel sweetness, but it's really complex and super like syrupy feeling on your on your palate. This one I'm getting like bananas and cream, almost like a banana, like an ice cream sundae. Let me smell it. Like a banana ice cream sundae. There's like vanilla cream, banana, there's a little bit of spice. Not as much as the last one though. On the palate, there's definitely a little bit of age. There's like a kind of a, a little bit of a tannic oakiness. It's got a nice sweetness. It's not as rich and dense as the last one was, but it's still pretty good. These are all pretty good. You know, these are all hand selected by the master bourbon picker whiskey row or David is he's known in some areas, <laughs> kind of a banana split ice cream sundae thing. And it finishes in more of a 
A bit of a nut toward the end. I don't love banana splits. I don't either. I've never understood why people <laughs> liked banana splits. I know, putting bananas in there. I like cut a like banana in half. Like everything, I'll take without the banana. But why put the banana in it? It messes yeah. it up. I want a banana split without the banana. That's called an ice cream sundae. I, <laughs> I know, I know. I'm just good kidding. Though. All right, we've gone through them one time. These are all pretty darn good. I'm pretty happy with this. We have tasted them. We've described them. And when we come back, we're going to put them on podiums. We're back. This was a great experience. I love Seven Way Blinds. I don't. They're fantastic. I hate them. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie's been so bored. It's taken me so long. I was like, I, babe, I promise I'm going to try to drink as little as possible. And I did, actually. I mean, but I, I'm really confident with the results. I'm really happy with the results. Took a little time, but it did come together in a really, really nice way. We don't have seven podiums. I was going to go no podiums, but I actually found this little wood coaster we have up here. So this is going to be our seventh place. So in seventh place tonight, this one. <laughs> Why not? In sixth place, well, we don't have a six, but it's a little taller than this one. And it's marked with a zero. So this one's sixth place. And that goes to this one. Then in fifth place, we have this one. Fourth place. Third place. Whoa. Second place. And first, this is our bourbon of the year right here. Yeah, I'm excited. This is good stuff. That is a good bourbon. That is like a good proof. It's a great balance of flavors. It's not spiky anywhere. It's smooth all the way across. A great sipping whiskey. Not too sweet, not too spicy. It's fantastic. I love that one. It does smell really good. I smell sweet. I almost smell like a grainy sugar or like a... Mm -hmm cinnamon or something oh it's all it's all in there it hits all those bourbon notes that i love when we were at the wild turkey distillery we picked this one up because jamie had it in the samples uh in the in the tasting that we did at the end of the tour it's gonna be american honey with a little bit of bourbon cream because <laughs> i think there's some down there that it i could be do. a little this tastes like that lemon cough drop like uh -huh. the honey lemon cough That's drop it's so good so i don't have really much clue on any of them I think one of these might be Jack. That might be Bomb Burgers. I think this is the Wild Turkey one. Well, let's dive into them. Let's figure it out. Let's get the bottles out. The only other one in the competition that wasn't here tonight is because I finished pretty much finished the bottle is the Russell's Reserve 13. When we did earlier in the year, when we did My Favorite Bourbon, the Russell Reserve 13 actually came out as My Favorite Bourbon. It was it had been opened up, but it wasn't like it hadn't been too long. And right now, there's like you know literally one pour left in that bottle. And it's been sitting with that much air in it for a long time. So it's really kind of turned and it's not very good right now. So I didn't want to put that in the competition, but that was my favorite bourbon earlier in the year when we ran this competition, like, you know, over the summer. So I definitely would have to say that that would have placed well in this competition had I actually had some, but I don't have any that are drinkable in a good way right now. So anyway, Russell's Reserve 13, Wild Turkey, Russell, please. Make another one for us. Put it out again. Give us a chance for some more of that 13-year wild turkey goodness. Sixth place. I called this a stag. Stag. Number six is Bomb Burgers. That's a little disappointing. All right. Number five tonight is FAE. Uh, Maker's Mark FAE02. Across the board, these are fantastic bottles of bourbon. So coming in fifth place or sixth place in this group is not negative, right? This is These are fantastic bottles. I'm pointing out and picking apart small, small minor flaws. Number four is Jack Daniels 10. It's a good pour. It's really, really tasty. Yeah, this was the one that we talked about being like a, a, a caramel chocolate banana sundae kind mm -hmm. of thing. Uh, number... <laughs> That's what seven seven tastings do to you. All right, I got two bottles and I got three of these. Oh, one of these is my poor man's weller. So <laughs> number three is my poor man's weller. All right, number two is wild turkey one. And that means the number one is the Remus Repeal 5. I think that this is the best Remus Repeal reserve that they've put out so far. It's the fifth one and it is... An absolutely tremendous, tremendous bourbon. So this is the outcome tonight. I'm really pretty happy with it. This is 2021 is a good year in the bourbon world. The prices continue to climb. It's hard to find bottles. More and more people are getting into bourbon. The YouTube yeah. channel's growing. We're getting here to Christmas. It's almost a New Year's. Yeah, happy holidays. Happy holidays to all of you out there. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Hope happy you're Hanukkah. you're spending some time with your family. You know, hopefully you got everything you wanted for Christmas. If you ended up liking the video, please hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. 
We'll see you again soon. Thank you so much for all your support. And until next time, find, find a, a bottle, bottle you love. love. That old. Your mom's old. Your mom's old. Your mama's old. <laughs> your mama's so old. <laughs> <coughs> I'm not going to put that in the video. That's me. Hi, Kathy. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Love you. You're so pretty today. <laughs> What's up, Snowman? All right. Come on. Come on. What's up, yo? Come on. Don't be hit on my wife. I'm going to try it. Yeah. Uh, go ahead, do okay. baby. Oh. <laughs> I quit. All right. So in my blind, I've got the <laughs> famous American honey wild turkey. And then I've got bourbon cream buffalo trace. Wait, where's my maple?